Lisa on the phone. Lisa, do we have you on the phone? Yes, can you hear me? Oh, fantastic, yes. Okay, good. Um, so I'm Lisa Chadwick. I'm a program director at the National Institute of Environmental Health Sciences, and I also want to thank everyone for giving me the opportunity to participate in this workshop today and thank all of you for giving up your time to participate in this effort. So the mission of the National Institute of Environmental Health Sciences is focused on understanding how environmental chemical exposures impact human health. And we support a small but growing research program on the microbiome, uh, both animal and human studies. And we recognize that the microbiome is really the interface between us and our environment. So thus far, our focus has been primarily on the microbiome of the organism, both how that interacts with the environment and how this interaction might dictate how a particular individual responds to a given exposure. So we've been coming at that from two different angles. First, um, you know, looking at how environmental chemical exposures affect the community structure and ultimately the functional capacity of the microbiome and how those changes might contribute to adverse health outcomes. And then second, how does the microbiome itself impact the way that we are exposed to environmental chemicals or their toxicity by uh, metabolizing them? So we do not currently have an investment in the microbiome of the built environment. In fact, I think this is something that has struggled to find a home at the NIH in general. Uh, but I think this will be important for us in a few ways because the same kinds of principles that make the human microbiome so interesting to environmental health scientists likely also apply to environmental microbiomes. Um, first, I think about it as another thing that we're exposed to in the environment, in our living spaces and in our water, et cetera. And we need to better understand how the microbes we are exposed to in the environment interact with our own microbiome and how they can change each other. Um, it's also important to understand how the microbiome of the built environment might modify environmental chemicals before we even come into contact with them. And I think together these kinds of knowledge might help us make more informed decisions about, for example, the kinds of products that we use in our home and perhaps could even be exploited for therapeutic purposes. So not surprisingly, the NIH is most interested in hearing from the committee about the opportunities for understanding the interaction between the microbiome of the built environment and human health, and in particular, how this might relate to environmental chemical exposures. So those are my very short remarks. And I'm looking forward to hearing the discussion the rest of the day. Thank you.